Lights, camera, action. Ladies and gentlemen, this is tape 119, Photo Lab, Hollywood, Los Angeles, California. And this is perhaps a soon to be released video that's going to hit the internet and create quite a stir. Oh, yes, gentlemen, lights, camera, action, drum roll. Um, I am Richard Joshington from Miriam Webster's and let me be the first to congratulate you that we actually were adding the term badass bad boy uh, into Miriam's 2010 and we actually conducted a search to find two individuals that actually fulfilled every quality that we were looking for and you know what we sent our feelers out around the United States and oh my god the response was goddamn near overwhelming and um, so we said, why the fuck not? Let's try the rest of the world. And we did. And it was even more stupendous. Um, as a matter of fact, one of the highest categories ever was in exquisitely fucking fine off the hook hotties. Uh, 18 on up all around the world. It was goddamn unanimous, gentlemen. <laughs> and my chair has instructed me to <laughs> show his belly. Okay. When... Uh, you know what? Uh, <laughs> many different things are happening. <laughs> Joe Rogan, uh, Dana White, call me, okay? Seriously, uh, in your best interest, man. Oh, I'm going to keep it up. And yeah, gentlemen, uh, especially in extremely fine fucking women all over the planet, you know what? Uh, they said, God damn, because the Anaconda and the Gunslinger, okay? Uh, their new nicknames in Miriam's? I'll tell you what, Joe Rogan, you dark, broguish warrior, you bad boy. Jiu-Jitsu player, no doubt, at 5'8", and rolling with Eddie Bravo and steroids. Oh, no, it could be a mess for people that don't really know what they're doing, huh? And you know what? Uh, tragedy, my trader said. <laughs> you had that nose surgery that was so fucking unnecessary that, um, you know what? Uh... It kept you from any meaningful fucking competition, you know, where it might get punched. And so, you know what? So, your better half. Um, the yin to your yang. <laughs> your fucking faithful companion. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about Tonto. I'm talking about the fucking gunslinger himself. Oh, yeah. Dana White. Because he has hands. Where it is. He went to the gym. It's been about, you know, maybe three, four weeks and said, you know what? I'm fucking ready. To take on the <laughs> Tito Ortiz because, you know what, uh, he has none. And, you know, word around the block is that, well, you know what, my trail wanted me to ask you, Dana, how expensive was it to make sure that Tito didn't show up? <laughs> <laughs> Refer back to my trail's wishes to the belly that everybody on planet Earth can have, homeboy, if they just get lots of stevia in their bodies. And Diego Sanchez has the reins or the clamp taken off his mouth oh yeah so yeah it goes like this gentlemen uh my tray invites you on a little hunt okay now this might be a little painful because what i seek is the vertically challenged very very fucking aggressive alpha very 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 white uh in athletics uh five eight to five ten you know have a nun, a uh, white male. And gentlemen, uh, uh, for proof, I give you one of the very best, okay? Born in Germany in another decade, uh, Lou Holtz would have been a Gestapo commander at uh, Buchenwald, Dachau, you name it. That motherfucker is evil, no shit. And you know what? Dana White, my tray wants me to ask you if you can actually fucking help him uh, get into the SP Awards, even though it's fucking... Uh, 20 years fucking late, and here's proof. You know what? This is the shiznick. God damn, son. Can you imagine if my Treya's fucking hands were actually faster than his fucking feet? God damn. We're talking about fireworks, gentlemen. Oh, god damn explosive, baby. Uh, it is something to behold like this. And you know what? He gets fired for it. Oh, bad luck that one, Lou got a little aggressive you know what you didn't think it was going to come back to bite you in the ass but you know what pretend my Treya's fucking helmet 
is going up yours in a fucking goddamn video for kids and maybe in real life or, I mean no no in just a movie <laughs> anyhow uh goddamn that's the shiznit and uh let's digress a little bit more we are going to hunt on a very popular uh, website where people are looking to you know fucking get pussy and get cock and you know what um i sent a little bait i said you know what i don't really want to meet your woman but i have a woman that will meet you and uh you know she'll tell you the fucking violin let her pussy on fire for 45 minutes uh she was worn out she's 59 but she is fine as fuck and you know that is what my Treya asked me to tell you am i doing good i'm mimicking dan quinn's voice he gave me fucking uh yeah, he gave me free reign and said, you know what, wing it. So here is the response that I was looking for. How you, uh, oh, no, no, this is the wrong one. That's the how you feel one, okay? This is the funny motherfucking, okay? Uh, you know what? Yeah, here we go. The violin of which you speak has been played for many years, but under a different name. Having a slut give you 100% of herself to you does not come without paying a price and having some skills, I'll have you know. Not to mention that your passion.com name has come with quite the reputation which I do not want <laughs> my slut to have any involvement with, okay? With regards to your offer, thank you, but not thank you. Uh, with that being said, <laughs> having friends whom have tried to follow the same path, you have a little, uh, okay, and it's like this. Uh, the response that I sent him was kind of funny. It was like, you know what, fucking lame? I'd have more respect for you, bitch, if you just said, uh, basically, Fuck off, but Dana White. Oh, let me show you something, Dana. Uh, Mike Treya offers his services, sir, for sparring, just in case uh, Tito happens to fucking say uh, yes. And uh, do you think you can handle it? Let's see, Dana. Uh, Boom. Okay. Know this, dog. Coming right at you. Boom. Boom. Oh, yeah. Peace. God damn it. I can go hunting heads. <laughs> that is the shit. Now, tell you what, Dana. I want a motherfucking present, homeboy. Uh, this is what I want, please. Well before Christmas. And this is him because he put it out there on motherfucking YouTube that he was the shiznit and that uh, he meant business. Oh, yes. Oh, very impressive. Yes. That footwork. God damn, man. You uh, transfer weight not well. And uh, you know what? You come at me with the lead motherfucking uh, left uppercut, homeboy. Uh, God damn, son. You know what? Uh, you're already done. Oh, yeah. I'm getting hungry. For a big fucking ugly white Godzilla. <laughs> I mean, black Godzilla bar. You know what? Uh, I'm not racist. Uh, you know what? Uh, it's like this. Ken Shamrock, pretend that fucking, uh, that's you. Actually being able to throw a punch. <laughs> you know what? Just give me someone, Dana, so I can fucking, uh, do the following. And make no motherfucking mistake about it, homeboy. Uh, ask Matt Bingaman if my hands aren't goddamn, uh, exactly like this. Okay? Oh, it's the shit. Oh, yeah. And you know what? He does this on purpose, man. He fucking gets him in a corner, okay? And he knows what's going on. And he delivers those fucking killer blows, man. Oh, yeah. I can get jiggy with punches, gentlemen. And, uh, wait a minute. Let me go back and let me take a look at this again. Uh, this is me spanking David White's ass. I have a mask on. And, uh, you know what? I'm part of a fucking uh, film. It's not really Dana White. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, there's me. How do you think you're standing up, Dana? If you call me out, player. Oh, goddamn, son. Call an ambulance. <laughs> fucking it's over in the first fucking 15 to 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what. It's going to happen over and over. Unless you actually give me uh, this motherfucking bum. I mean, goddamn, sons. Did you actually think this was serious shit and you were believing it? 
uh, ask anybody that's ever seen me fight, and they will tell you that if Dan Quinn starts throwing punches in a street fight, oh my fucking God. You know what? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's something to fucking watch, man. Uh, actually, Joe, help. Uh, you think you can uh, fund a little recreation of what happened to actually initiate the goddamn bad boy club uh, 20 something years ago, homeboy. Uh, and I can start it with money and it can spread throughout the world. But it's the good bad boy, okay? Good motherfuckers that are going to hunt down fucking fake frauds like this bitch. And uh, you know what? I'm hungry, Dana. Give me a present, homie. 916 475 7856, bitch. And if I die, it will continue forever when the Vagos uh, get it through their senses and my boys direct them to do what I told them 